The storm hit, we lost our cars, we lost everything. Everything just collapsed. It was just a horrible disaster. This is the water line right here on the window. You can see all the way. I'm about 5'8", and, and that's about what it is, isn't it? I mean, we had water come up to here. I was walking like this at one point, you know? We did not want Harvey to kill this parade. We want this parade to go on. So thank you all. There are so many people that do not understand that even a year later, we have homes that are still shells. We have people that are still living in hotels. We have people living in fear every time it rains. We don't want people to feel forgotten. We are headed to BJ Services, which is a warehouse facility that has graciously donated that space to an organization called Heart for Texas. We'll go there sometimes to get, they have all kinds of stuff, sheetrock. They've given us tile and flooring, bathtubs, faucets, you know, just different things at different times. I've got kind of a list okay. of things. I don't know what you have, what you don't have. Penny is an angel. You know, angels are messengers from God, and that's what Penny is. And I've come to the conclusion that there is nothing that she wouldn't do to help somebody that she loves, and she loves everybody. I don't have any magic skills. I just can love people well. I can show up. I think that's like the bigger picture. Can I take a sink yeah. and faucet, bathtub? Yes. Yes. For smaller bathrooms, there's these. To be Kitchen at the place lighting. of the need of lighting is a victory. It's a win, yeah. And that's a win because for so long it seemed like we weren't going to get to the finishes. I think one of the things Penny and I have in common was just that, that gnawing question of how do we respond, what do we do? We may not be able to fix it, we got to keep showing up. Our main focus is to get people back into their homes and people that are living in their homes to make that house feel more like a home again. You go a little further. That's good, that's good. Ten days into this, I got this message. She said, hey, a friend of mine lives over in Bear Creek, and I just wondered if there was any way you could go by and check on their home. So we get over to this neighborhood. There was so much water still on their street 10 days later. Um, is there any way you could help them? They're going to need help. And so I was like, yes, we will help you. I thought it would be something we would do for a few days, and it was, I don't know, almost 11 months now. <laughs> It's 15702, but it's the last one on the left. Anybody under 20? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? So if anybody's under 20 and they want to help, like y'all go with us to Hillary's, he's got electrical stuff to hang fans and lights. Is that Allie? Yeah. Okay. Sarah is a volunteer just like me who showed up and decided that she was in this for the long haul. Yeah. Okay, there's a light in here I do have to grab out. You want to carry it out and then we'll carry this? Okay, set it here. Seeing that, it's just insane to me. Mm -hmm. It's a just hard a reminder. reminder. I mean, if you think about it, like, that was only a year ago. I'm gonna go over to another house next door that's been abandoned. The bank evidently bought this house. There's mold everywhere. There's a lot of people who left and didn't come back. There's a lot of people who um, sold to investors. Pennies on the dollar. I think some of it was being very overwhelmed, um, not knowing where help was gonna come from. Oh my look, gosh! I know. Doesn't it look good? It looks so good. Hi, Hi baby this girl. This is amazing. I miss you. I miss you too. So this wall, every beam in this house has been signed by people. And the philosophy behind this, in my mind, for the family is that God forbid we ever flood again. When the walls come down, we know we're not alone. Look at your cabinet. <laughs> this looks so it's good. good. I love awesome. it. Karen's kitchen was destroyed, and this is the first house that we really did on the street. We came in and saw it, and I was like, I don't even know how you say this to the people. The washer and dryers, they all just flipped over. Washer and dryer was in front of the back door. Everything just collapsed. We really didn't want to come back in. Um, forced my boyfriend to come back in. He came here before I did, and he said, I can't ever go back. He said, you don't understand, it's so, so bad. I said, there'll be people that'll help. I know there will be. Hey, Ms. Sue. I was lucky that I didn't get electrocuted the first day when the water came in. 
you create waves, you know, waves go and hit the wall and just, it's such a, a different experience. Hartford, Texas donated all of these cabinets and we just had to buy one small piece that he can paint, but Monsieur is a painter and so that was cool. After the flood, we came in, we started taking all the debris and I had lots of artwork, tools, magazines, art books. Everything was thrown on the street. And then I found this kitchen cabinet. I put it on there and I said, well, I wish I had some paint. I went in, I found some of my own paints and brushes in there. So I stood here and painted the scene. All my photographs have become even more beautiful than before. Each one is like an abstract painting. I call this Harvey effect. Even something that we call disaster is part of creation. Then I saw Miss Penny coming by. I didn't know her, she just, you know, we met and she's been here on the street helping people like me. And I don't know, without her probably I would have no walls. As powerful as Harvey was, I could see people power as strong as the Harvey. The full force, they came, rescued us, and they've helped us up to this point. And God bless America. This is, this is what we should show the world, that this is how we, what we do. In the midst of what is vast, overwhelming um, water, imagine yourself out in the ocean, and then there's this buoy of these sweet women offering hugs and saying, okay, nothing's too big, what can we do? My husband said it best, they turned our neighborhood into a community. The biggest change for us was this calmness in the midst of despair to know we're gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. And all of our great volunteers, just thank everyone for coming out. It's been a tough year for this neighborhood, but to see all of you guys being here today is truly something special. Thanks for coming out. Thank you, Bear Creek Village. It was super good to see people come out. I think when it started raining, it was a little bit emotional for some of us, but just to be with them and to see them living life again was also very hopeful for us. That's what our effort's all about, is for them to keep on. One of the bigger stories of this for me has been the value of presence, you know, and just someone coming back. And I wanted them to not forget and not feel like we had forgotten them. A lot of people ask us about when does this end? Or when do you walk away? When is it enough? It's, it's not like that. You don't walk away.